Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com here to bring you another gear review. Today we're talking about a piece of gear that has a permanent place on my battle belt and that is the Blue Force Gear Tourniquet Now Strap, which, wait for it, holds a tourniquet. Piece of kit is pretty straightforward. You have a semi-rigid piece and then off of that you have two heavy-duty elastic loops. That allows you to put your tourniquet, either a cat or soft tee wide, which I prefer, or most anything else in there. You can fit flexi cuffs in there, big log of summer sausage, whatever you want in there. This piece in the newer ones is actually one piece of injection molded plastic. This being their earlier model, you have a thin strip of a semi-rigid plastic covered in nylon and then everything sewn through on that. The newer one, being a injective molded plastic, gets rid of this, like not that this isn't strong, but this when it gets wet will hold water, will add weight. Newer one alleviates that. Really simple, really functional though. As far as mounting goes, this can mount onto a one by three molly field in that it's only taking up one and then you're gonna have one, two, three straps going across. To put this in, you basically fold these down flat, slide it up under the molly loops, and then once it comes out, you pull these out, and then you have your three straps there, throw your tourniquet in there, everything's secure. You can use these with a field that's only too tall though, such as my Brokos Viking Tactics Battle Belt. It's only two by two panels on there, so I basically slide it through so I have a piece going across top and bottom of one of the loops, holds it plenty secure, never had any issues over the last three years or so. It's never had an issue with it coming out or anything like that. Work really great, use them on my battle belt as well as on my plate carrier over on the cummerbund and throw them on there. And also the way these are set up, a lot of med kits to include Blue Force Gears Trauma Kit now, I believe it's called, basically have it set up on the top sides, something like that, where they'll have a really short one by three usually molly field in which case you can throw this on there have a way of fixing your tourniquet to your med pouch if you want it set up that way to use them you're just going to go ahead and you'll mount it on your gear take your tourniquet make sure you do a good job fold it up so that when it comes out it's going to be usable it's not just a big shit show especially with cat tourniquets where you have all the velcro bad news with that and you're basically gonna take this thing, it'll be on your gear of course, and you're gonna slide it into these loops. And once it's in there, not only is it really secure, but it's also visible, which is a big thing. If you've seen my review on the RATS tourniquet, you'll know that it is by far my preferred tourniquet. Having said that though, I keep on my gear in the Blue Force Gear Tourniquet Now strap, so it's visible, a couple of these. And these are the soft T wide tourniquets. As much as I love the RATS, if someone's coming and I'm incapacitated and they need to put a tourniquet on me, or I need to hand a tourniquet to someone, the training isn't there over the broad spectrum with people with respect to the rats. Whereas this, pretty much everyone's used a cat tourniquet, if not a soft tee, soft tee wide. And the training's there for people to use these, especially if I'm incapacitated and they need to put it on me. Thing I like about this over the cat tourniquet is you have this metal buckle. So rather than having to undo this giant tail, Velcro tail, having it get stuck on itself over and over again, if you need to get this under a limb, whether it be a leg, arm, whatever, someone's trapped and you can't just slide a loop over it, you can undo this, throw it under, bring it around, and then securely snap it right there. At which point, you just tug this thing, cinch it down. Then, in addition to that, you have a metal windlass. I don't know how many of the cat tourniquets I've seen break with their plastic windlass, but it happens. Yes, maybe you save like a half ounce, something like that. Soft tee wide, metal windlass, it's not gonna break. Where I actually really saw these and was impressed with them was during a live tissue lab, trying to save a pig's life. Saved it for a while, eventually expired. 
had something to do with all the times he got stabbed and shot and he didn't make it. But these actually did a far superior job in my experience over the cat tourniquet. So soft tee wide, hot ticket. Best place to find these tourniquet now straps is straight through Blue Force Gear's website. They're 11 bucks. You can get them in Coyote like this, as well as black, multi-cam, olive drab, uh, foliage green, and wolf gray. As far as these guys, best place I've found is on Amazon. They're about 30 bucks. You can get them usually with Prime, something like that. But great combination and yeah, wonderful piece of kit. Really simple, but beauty in its simplicity. As always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.